Designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzen and engineered by British firm Ova Arup, the Sydney Opera House is a 20th century architectural masterpiece. Part of its significance relies on the revolutionary construction process. Despite this, the contribution of the Australian construction company Hornibrook is often forgotten. Hornibrook, together with Ova Arup, established the construction strategy for the Opera House roof between November 1961 and September 1962. A set of drawings recently discovered in the NSW archive is the tangible testimony of this pre-planning phase. During pre-planning, Hornibrook designed the Casting Yard, an open-air factory equipped with several moulds to produce the 2,400 segments of the sails. The moulds, or beds, were designed specifically to respond to the geometrical complexity of the roof. They allow repetition and flexibility to quickly produce different segments. The bed could be opened and closed to facilitate the positioning of the steel reinforcement and the removal of the roof pieces. A boardwalk allowed the workers to pour the concrete into the moulds. The ingenuity of Hornibrook's design is revealed by the fabrication process of the sales segments. At first, pre-fabricated panels, called bulkheads, were inserted into the bed. These bulkheads were designed with a plugging system, so the roof segments could be assembled with precision. This bed fabricated five segments. Their cross sections change, starting with a solid I shape, then a hollow T shape, and finishing with a Y shape. Segments from 1 to 4 were cast directly, while segment 5 required a more complex procedure given its shape. An internal form was slotted on top of the bed to create the Y section of the segment. Once the cast filled the space between the bed and the internal form, this last one was removed. Diagonal members were then placed and a final cast of concrete completed segment 5. The bed was then opened and the roof segments were transported away for curing. After completion, the formwork system of the sails for the Sydney Opera House was destroyed and inevitably forgotten. The Australian contribution to the fabrication of this icon had somehow been lost until now. <laughs>